Hey chat, what's up everybody? I'm gonna play some Madden here. Madden's one of the few games that I can play regardless, no matter what time of day or what time of mood I'm in. And we're gonna continue off from where we left off last time. Let's see, week two versus the Texans, and they got, oof, oof, not a fan of that chat, not a fan, let's go ahead and just jump into this game chat, I don't play defense, I'm sorry chat, I've never been good at defense on here, so I don't even try, and for those who might not have realized, I've, uh, got a uh, Joe Burrows on my team. I completely did a whole fantasy draft. And for those who didn't watch, I got JJ Watt, Travis Kelsey, but more importantly, I got my boy Adam Shaheen. Adam, one of the best tight ends in the NFL if you ask me. And that's not just because I know him. Today Play the moment, chat. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this you know, yeah, let's, gets let's see what they say. Oh, I don't like that. They're blitzing. They are blitzing, chat. A first carry oh, now yep, for yep, Kareem yep. Hunt. This is why I didn't like that, chat. Lose yardage here. Back to I made it worse 18. by trying to run back instead of just running into it. Now, but. after the loss, they'll have to navigate a second and 17. Burrow's throw taking Jarvis. We're just trying to get back to the line Down of scrimmage now, boys. The 23, a pick up of four. Burrow on play okay, action. Okay, okay. There's a That's what I'm talking issue. about. Let's Jamar get that Chase. first down, chat. Yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 40. I didn't even check to see what my goals were for the game. That's not good. On first down, they'll run with Hunt, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Good for you, Kareem. The Good on for the you. For Hunt a week ago. That's what I'm talking about, carries, chat. 75 yards and a touchdown. As a good start to the season, they got the win, and they were able to establish a good running game. Nothing that just blew people away, but a nice, solid base to get come things on, started. On, they expect that to get tuned more. up and okay. get better as the season moves on. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. Safety, might as well bring it in. Make sure we get the ball in the, the basket, chat. Get four there on third and two. That throw's not going to get them a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first Double down. Team. And I'm going to here. Game there. of inches, partner. Absolutely. We, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion. Oh, please be a big. face mask. Please yeah, be a face mask, chat. With a marker oh, the that's a killer. Oh, that's a killer at the end of the play, chat. And that's on Pro Bowl center Jason Kelsey. <laughs> I made sure to get both the Kelsey brothers. There's a third, but... You know, I must not have got him in time. Uh, we, where's my boy Adam? There he is. Adam, I need you to catch this ball. Off the play fake. Here's Burrow. Swings this I'll take the block. I'll take and that he's block, Adam. Get this inside the 30. I think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now my own dude made the tag. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's Oof. easy about Oof. what they're doing out there. Oof, and chat. By the way, they look at the sidelines thinking to themselves, and All right, let's, uh, let's keep throwing it. We're let's stay away well. from him for a moment. Actually, let's just throw the ball. Let's throw the ball, chat. And they go play action now. Burrow. Now 
left to Shaheen. Mr. Shaheen. And he's going to be taken down. Look for him. He plays for the, uh, the stops made at the Dolphins. 14. Yeah, he plays for the Dolphins right now. From the red zone now, they'll look to Oh, that's a horrible decision. That's a horrible decision on my part, Chad. I've never said I was good. And it's second down. Here's second and ten. I'm impulsive. I pick who I'm going to throw the ball to well before the play even starts. A carry here for Hunt. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the ten. Let's hit the ball off again, Chad. On third down, here's Hunt. Get that touchdown. Get that touchdown, Chad. Kareem Hunt is second. So we did the, we started off with a fantasy draft. Um let me here, let me pull it up here. Cause it's an interesting team right now. We had Joe Burrow starting off. I played high school against him. Kareem Hunt, Mark Ingram. Jamar Chase, Landry. Tutu Atwell, one of my favorites. Kelsey. My boy Adam's all the way down here. We need to bring him up. What Jack Doyle, because he's from Western Kentucky University. We got our good friend JJ, Sue. I really neglected defensive tackles. Campbell, Robert Quinn's all the way down here? Hmm. Oh, that's because he's a starter there. Him and the uh, three-fingered monster himself, Jason Pierre-Paul. And Justin Tucker. Never skimp on kickers on to get hunters. Started. I took Justin to Tucker in like the top, the uh, top ten round, one that resulted in seven points in the and, and I knew I was reaching well, you know for it, I but racing, I wanted right? to make sure I had him. Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you run in the big time races. Means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, Ooh, making the other beautiful. team chase now. He will find his man chase I love that play. I lean on that play way too much. Before they work it across midfield. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out I used to try to do that with Tom Brady. I mean, it worked. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. He's just going to angle himself. Not as good as I wanted it to. And that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that crowd. The last run got Go back to six. Jamar here. Now second and four. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw taken in here by Chase. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans. Uh oh, he knows what's line. coming. Complete. This is Lewis. I saw him. He stayed out there. He wasn't going to rush the edge. He was going to wait out there for him to roll out. And what a nice example. Whenever they do that, the only thing to do is get rid of the ball and get rid of the ball quick. Because they will eat you alive. I played defensive lineman in college. They will eat you alive for doing that. It's Burrow. He's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And he'll get him inside the 15 Let's down see, to the 14-yard line. See. That'll go for a game. The rest for the wicked. And it'll make it second down. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Uh, one more, one more. That's bad. Screw it, we'll go with this again. They go play action with Burrow. Throw left side complete. That's Hunt. Okay, let's get, get the break, get the backups in, it's worth touching the, the backups, on right, Chad? I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when okay, you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. Kelsey, you're I love expecting you. him on. to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held into an open field. I figured Kelsey game. would have better uh, nice play there to force spectacular to catching than that. For sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, when that turnover battle is going to be key. Yeah, who cares? It's fourth down there. territory, Chad. The feeling they keep making plays like that, they might just get a few. Yeah, once goal you get line. one, defense This is why you never skimp on a fullback. No movement from the field goal unit. They've got four full yards oh, to go. Here on fourth and goal to hit Pater, but they're going to go for it. Now again to the 
Ooh, he got killed at the line. I have faith in the defense, though. I mean, I'm not going to play him, so I have faith in him. If I played them, I would have no faith. And I should have had no faith. But, you know. So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. I'm going to roll out again. Burrow on first down. Locked. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And it looked like he got the feet down, did he? Yes. It's a catch. Jamar Chase, that touchdown. Is that is a long one, Chad. We do back to backs here. To take the field here, they will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. He's going to let it go again, and it looked like he got the feet down, did he? Yes, it's a catch. Touchdown! See that that play's broken as long as they're backing off the wide receivers and they're not rushing the edge. Even then, though, I mean, there's almost it's hard not to complete that pass. The Cleveland offense ready to go. I mean, I have Burrow. Charles, got the Deep lead. accuracy is not the best. Here now, what's the game plan for the second half? I think, I think getting the running game going a little blitzing. bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives. We're trying to get Jamar Chase for the year, chat. And give them what we're going to do. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And it looked like he got the feet down, did he? Yes, it's a catch. A big play that time for Cleveland. I would say just add that one to the total big plays he's already made here in the first month of the year. You've got to think the front office and the coaching staff have got to be excited about what they've seen so far and really excited Shaheen, about what they expect to see go. down the road. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. Oh, Trying yeah, yeah, chase, that's... It's, it's funny how whenever you throw the ball straight to the defender, they catch it. Does that count as completion, chat? I think that should. The Browns drive about to get started. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is oh, two, right? I should have set up. Once they threw the interception Still on the run. and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. They'll run with Hunt on second down. That's and a gain of break it. Four here moves this from the We're going to try this one more time. Ten. And then we're going to have to punt it. They get to the line. On third down, Burrow. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Okay, yeah, that's, that's pass. That's pass. There is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. We'll accept that. Well, they've done a good job on these receivers. Pretty much held them in check. They're a little too close for comfort. And you're always looking for them in check. Jarvis Landry is about right? to go you're off for someone to make one. But maybe this penalty, this pass interference call, that can help shake them loose. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And he's got the hook up to Landry. Man, I'm sad. I'm a, I'm a diehard Browns fan, and it broke my heart when Jarvis got traded or left. I was hoping he didn't get traded. He just left because we would knock him a contract. We thought we could get him back on the free agency. But I wish we would have actually just paid him. I mean, this time, not quite to the I mean, I'm upset we got, uh, we ever got yard line. Odell back and in the first good place. For a pick up of 10 yards, and it'll be second and very short. Now it's Burrow. Throw left side complete to Chase. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 13-yard line. There we go. There we go, Chad. It's taking advantage of the AI. Jamar Chase is third. First and ten coming up as this offense takes over possession okay, so of Chase the football in the game. We're going to slide the whole offensive line to the right because we're going to try to first set up First down, here's ball. Burrow. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A big 
connection on that one. 39 oh, yards. Big connection on that one. They'll run on first down. Whenever I had Tyreek, I used to run that play all the time. And we'd just sit there and score. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. On second and 12, Burrow. I don't know how he caught that. I didn't think he would. Travis Kelsey, his second touch. Let's try this one more time here, chat. Can it, can it work? They will throw on first down with Burrow. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this is taken in at the five. I saw they had that guy under, under the route. So I couldn't just pull it in like I normally do. Ready oh, to we go. are going to and get this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard 50. speaks for itself. But that's, a, that's, not, that's a great chat. Well, when do you go to the backup? Let him get some time. And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games not happy in a with row. It. Not happy with the chat. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We you know these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. Burrow now, off the bootleg, on the move to his left. Open man here, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And they'll get it all God bless you, Kelsey. You're a saint. Midfield. There's a beautiful throw there. Talk about Cleveland royalty right there it is. Game, moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out uh, Adam, that's, that's my real number one tight end right there. That look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave them They're going to do another PA so here. First and 10 now in Houston territory at the 43. Able to find Shaheen here. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A catch. loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. Looking to throw again on second down. Burrow. Oh, this still to running out of block or something. Back. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll Ooh, be left she, now with third and one. Right and we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers. I thought he was going to at least shake that off of the... Make people miss in the open field can really generate... Big plays for an offense. Oh, are you guys going to kick a field goal? Excuse my oh, no, we're not gonna here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. That is why you get a good tight or a good fullback, chat. A fullback, fullback and a no line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Down right around the 25. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Yeah, that should have been picked. That 100% should have been picked. Charles, thinking back to what you said in the first quarter, the part of the magic elixir for a road victory for these underdogs was going to be winning the turnover battle. Well, they only have one right now. Okay, we're going to do this, but yeah, it's exactly just a trap, chat. To the form that I subscribed, right? When we talk about winning that turnover battle, that evens things out, especially and for now, a team. Here is the trap. The team that's an underdog. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. There it is. And finding Emmanuel Sanders here. And they are going to score again. Yet this 
some risky trap, but it was a trap nonetheless, chat. The Browns I promised you it's to get 50. started. I promised you all that we would get hope for coming into the game. So we're about to do Just chat. one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. There it is. Complete. And he will get into we're have the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. I don't know how many touchdowns that was for Jamar Chase, but he was, he was rocking the defensive it. Guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their I want job to see what that the comparison was in the team. They're scoring that many points allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Cleveland, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And, oh. and they'll get to stay put for a few days. Seven. So the Chicago Bears progressively got better. Meanwhile, for Houston, they'll drop to 0-2. And, and they'll be back home next week as they're set to take on the Carolina Panthers. Usually it pumps up and shows like the uh, yards and whatnot. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. I guess here we go. Team stats. We threw that interception. That's it right there. Player stats. Okay. Almost a perfect rating. How about rushing? I mean, we. Okay, we hit blood rushing. Jamar Chase, almost 500 yards. Almost 500 yards, chat. Well, I'd hope he's ready to upgrade. You're my deep threat, Jamar. That's what you are. I need you to release. I need you to get down the field. And I need you to catch the ball, especially on crossing routes, which I run way too much. Oh wait, this is the uh, this is the Burroughs one. Advance to next week, chat. Players ready to negotiate. Let's see who we're getting rid of, chat. These players are on the last year of their contract. Resi Johnny! My dude, we're paying you. Like, I want to keep you around, but I don't need you around. I might see what I can get for him out of a trade, just because I actually have a better fullback. I picked him up just so no one else could have him. Get Jamar Keys, okay. Four plus TDs or 200 yards rushing slash receiving. Oh, we'll do that. No, that's. Pfft. He had almost 500 yards last game, chat. So I don't think it's going to be an issue getting him a couple extra. Except for Khalil Max back with the Bears, apparently. Okay, so what we're going to do is set up some goals for the team. For the week here, select my goals. If I gotta score, if I gotta score some points with uh, Jamar, 
That means we are focusing all out on a... Uh, yeah, we'll do that one. Unless there's a better one. Now we'll do that one. Passing yards. No, let's just do the score points. So I don't play defense chat. So for whenever I do this, I would just do the no conversions on fourth. Usually it's a blowout, so they don't even try. Uh, we're not going to rush. We're not going to recover fumbles. Let's go for that one. Okay, we'll do that. And we will die on that hill chat. That's what we're about to do here. Die on a hill. Yeah, let's look at the weekly reward. See who got it, Burrow or Chase? I think Chase would have. Yep, Chase. 13 receptions, 480 yards, and 5 touchdowns. He was eating. They never covered him. They just left him. So, yep, we're going to skip. We're going to play offense only because I don't play that defense. Mm -hmm. So on some nice uniforms, chat. There we go. I like that top. Nope, not that one. We're going to rock that outfit for this one, chat. we got to get dressed up for Jamar Chase getting the upgrade. Today. I had to turn off the music because uh, I got muted last time doing it. Okay, let's go team. We're coming right out the gate with the favorite play of mine. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set Jamar to Chase over. crossing over. We're going to try to hit him in stride. Although I don't like uh, the fact that... Oof, I don't like their ends now right Burrow. now. Yep, see, did not happen. Release, as this will be incomplete. Did not happen, Chad. So we're going to try something else here. The in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Second and ten now, Burrow. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. We're going to hurry up to get this right back to Jamar Chase. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Burrow throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it'll be incomplete. Jamar Chase, who are you? Why are you doing this to me, man? It'll bring up second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Second and ten. Now it's Burrow. Yeah. They'll leave it for Hunt complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Burrow looking to pass. Got a man. It's Chase. Jamar needs those 200 it. yards. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Throw left side complete. That's Hunt. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard oh, line. Oh, we yard. Second and 11 now. Out. Here's Burrow. I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Seventh play of the game. They are coming alive for this first drive. It's okay. Down. We'll wear him down here, chat. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. That was the weirdest animation thing ever. But I trust our defense to get the ball right back. And we 
drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And that will be incomplete. Oh. I just Would realized that they had a uh, they had connected. Instead, it's their down. cornerback After over the there was pass here now is second and ten. an all-star, so He's let's try and go do deep this again. instead, Chad. Like he got the feet down. That's what was, that's yes. what was losing it for us. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. We'll blame oh, that, Chad. That time for Cleveland. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. Oh, they picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Touchdown! Hey, we'll take the touchdown. We'll take the touchdown, Chad. Jarvis Landry, his first touchdown here in the new game. Play the moment again. Right now, we're all even. It's a tie game. As we okay, drop you Jamar back in, the gonna offense do gets set Chad. to take over. Faith. They go play action here on first down. Yeah, we were. This one yeah, is that was. Complete. I thought we were about to get laid out in this quarter. Obviously looking for number two, and definitely not playing the check down game. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and ten. We just need enough space to set up before we the throw the ball. Play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side. Oh. And that's going to be incomplete. I, I didn't Good pay attention pre-game to see who that even shot, was. But it's they down. are eating me alive. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. It's to the sideline and incomplete. So I forgot. I'm used to double tapping it fact. to but do a little uh, finesse throw. Fourth down. So I down forgot here, entirely that away. that's not it. That's just Back a pump deep, fake nowadays. Callaway. This is taken at the 15. This is why and I don't play defense, chat. I do stupid stuff like that. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. The Cleveland offense ready to go. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. I think we can get it. I think we can get it, chat. We're going all in on this strategy right here just to get these yards. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's going to fire one deep left Under side pressure, line. the dude was like three or four and yards away from him. on the deep ball. Thus far, they have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. Yeah, let's try. To throw again on second down. This. Coral. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hunt. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. What's the man out of the backfield a week ago? They got the ball uh, early and often. They type in. No doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. I do like this play. So a lot. from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Burrow loses the football. Oh my god, did my did my line just not block? Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Double fucking team in there today, chat. They'll run with Hunt. Get that first down. We're going to run that again. Run it back now, chat. Actually... We're going to hand it off to the inside. Let them think we're doing something else. On first down. Hunt. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Switch it up here and look to throw. Quick slam caught by Chase. And he works it past the 30. Go get what? Oh. Yeah. 
after this game, yeah. Oh, chat, this is going to be my last game of uh, Madden for the night, or for the time being. Okay, they're blitzing, so we got to get this ball out fast. Wrong choice! That's out quickly to chase. I don't think I don't got to do it now. There's nothing strong enough to do it. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Don't judge me for wanting to do play action. We'll remind you coming up at halftime. We'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Again, it's Burrow. So Jamar, okay, he's got, that's one of his touchdowns. He either needs 200 yards or touchdowns. Yeah, I don't know how many yards he has right now. The Browns drive about to get started. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics Chat, will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Pressure gets to him and down he goes. So I'm nervous, Back Chad. at the four-yard line. And Burrow's saying, let's go, let's go. That's the thing is I don't even really care about getting a touchdown right here. I mean that'd be nice, but I'm trying to get Jamar his yards. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Burrow on third down. And he'll go right back to Chase. That's caught again. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get. He's going to be out to get Landry in there this time, I think. So they'll come up first in no, 10 no, now it's still him. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We need to freak out this guy. The Burrow on okay, play yeah, action. Stay down on the flat. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Well, That's what we needed to do. That's the Touchdown. trick we needed right there, Chad. We need to keep that cornerback busy with the tight end down there on the side. The first half that way you don't drop back into cover. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And they got the lead. CD, what do you think the message Let's was? Let's see if that works time. a second time. The check. Was that might have just been a one time fluke. That they need to change things too much. Yeah, I do think the offensive fluke. line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep the tight end in. This what is was that? Picked off by Khalil Mack. We need Burrow to get a time to rest on the sidelines and make that tackle. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. You're going to run a curl route. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Flushed out right. Oh, my God. I told him to dive, and he just did not. He was like, no, I'm taking his hit, bud. Working with a second and three. They run with Hunt. And on the hyper field the line there, but I am grateful that he did. Line. Now after the run by Hunt, here's first and ten. That was weird. That was weird, chat. I like that little finesse that we did there in the skip hop jump. That's The Browns drive about to get started. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles First and counters down because you know that some adjustments. Well, let's get back to the line to the air. 30 yards. We're doing that again. Off the play fake. Here's Burrow. 
I was too busy looking down the field. That's why you never get nerve sighted, Chet. Usually I peek the right in. When as soon as I come off the line, that's what I look for. See what he's doing. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage. Yeah, you get carried and themselves out. a hole that they can't get out of. Finally, a good play there defensively okay, on Chad. the deep ball. The secondary has had its See, this is the issue with the way I play. Game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. He's going to have the hook up here to chase. Fourth and goal, and down by a touchdown. The offense stays on the field. They'll try and throw for it with Burrow. Get the first. Get the first. Oh, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. I thought he would have had it, Chad. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Oh, it's Landry out there. Now they go play action now. Burrow. Open man. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try to push the ball back. downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Now a play fake here on first down. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Oh my God, that was beautiful. That was beautiful, Jamal. Big connection on that one. Thirty-nine yards. I don't know how many yards he has. How many? I kind of don't want to look, but I kind of do. Game stats, chat. Game stats. Player stats. I don't care about rushing. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's well beyond that. Okay. Well, let's try to give him another touchdown just for uh, so shits and giggles. So, right, position Chad? after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. He'll look to throw. There's that man again. It's complete. Yeah, we're going to run that same play one more time. He's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And then we're going to focus on the run game. Again, he'll drop to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Sometimes that happens, Chad. Yeah, you know, it just happens. And the Bears are going to... So yeah, let's focus on the run play here. Out there already an excellent oh, field whoa, position. whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I talking about? Focusing on the run. We got, a, we got an interception we'll ourselves. Take off the interception from the last drive. Yeah, we're getting this touchdown. So now he's got 300 some yards and four touchdowns. So we got 10 on the season, and this is only week three. The Browns drive about to get started. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First downs. Yeah, we're just gonna try to run this baby out. They start out here first and ten. I want to get some green meets his points. They'll begin the drive with Hunt, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up, and they're gonna speed things up here. On second down, right back to Hunt, and this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. I the like Browns on third down, the ball. two for five to this point. This will be third and six. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. You know who needs love? Slant, fullback needs love, and chat. That That's who we coverage. need to love in life, no fullback. Look check. at that. Ten yards, chat. You should just check short, all so the way. Third and less than a yard. Right back to use check again. And he's taken down at the 43, but now before picking up the first. And now they're in the hurry up. First man through, it's the fullback use check. Lineback 
after Patrick Queen bringing him down. Another carry here for the fullback, Juszczyk. Okay, right there. That's where we hit the point of the mission returns. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. A toss play left. There goes Mark Ingram. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. See, chat. How about this works. offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what we said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting that was a mess, chat. That the was a mess right there. Down it. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And he gets it down close to the ten-yard line. On second down now, it's Hunt, and he's going to be brought down Two just shy of the morning. five at the six. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So the Browns in possession of the football. Oh, I keep forgetting that's one score reset. game. They've got it first and goal as they search for what could be a game-sealing touchdown. Oh, no, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And he's going to return that's it not good. to the 21-yard line. It's the second fumble of the game. No partners there with every play. <laughs> the Cleveland offense ready I to like go. These odds, They've got work chat. to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, this is a good point. I think got to a and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. And that is oh, if he would have got there, he catch that. On through the contact. Great. Brings up second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw, Burrow. Wide open. Trucks over him. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. What the hell could... Beautiful. Beautiful chat. I know it's an emotional game, Charles. He can't do Oh, that. my gosh. How did that even happen, sessions, chat? and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Now the so here's the fact, the Chad, is I am terrified of kicking the football. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. Five yards remain on second down. I'm also terrified of throwing an interception right now. Now Burrow. Swings this out for Hunt. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. I don't really throw three interceptions this game. Hmm. Here's Burrow. He'll have a first I want a touchdown, chat. Yeah, I don't want to have to kick the ball. I hate kicking the football. Line before going out. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Being chased out left, and he's in for the touchdown! And in Beautiful the final shot. seconds, forget overtime, they just... Ooh. Well, no doubt an that was scary, chat. That was scary. To have it down inside the 10-yard line. That final shot, though, they couldn't get it in the end zone, and that's... So we're going to do our upgrades, we're going to advance to the next week, and then we're going to be done, chat. I'll see you after my lunch. Let's get that up to 82. Now Adam Shaheen, the man, the myth, the legend, one of the best tight ends in all of NFL.
Let's check out, see what the breakout players got to say. I tell you, coach, nobody in the league can do the things I can that I can do. And I think I made that clear today. How does it feel to have one of the best receivers in the NFL on your roster? It feels great. Superstar, that's what we are talking about. Can cause a zone ability. Jamar, you beautiful man, you. Let's, yeah, let's advance to the next week. Press conference check in. I'm going to definitely finish this whole stream, or finish this whole season as a stream. Yeah, we, we're a team here. That's what we are, chat. Upgrade players. This player has a zone ability. This is a powerful ability that can be activated when the player completes in-game objectives. Only X-Factor players have zone. You're a deep threat. From line of scrimmage, now he t he grab and go after. Change direction. Ah, oh, we definitely need that chat. So let's see. First one free. Increases the yak them up. Success rate. To the zone, I believe. We can go with rack them up, chat. What's this one here? One lined up at wide receiver, excluding the slot. Players with the ability have access. Hot routes during pre-play. Yeah, we don't care about that too much, chat. Spectacular or separation. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go with this because we definitely do that a lot. I asked him to run no huddle a lot, as you can see, chat. So let's get them upgraded with that. Chat, excuse me. It 
let's manual trade this out. No one ever needs a fullback, but I th I always say you need a fullback. Let's see who's interested in them. Hey, what's up? How'd your stream go? You actually just caught me at the end of this one. I'm actually just about to get off here. I was just doing some last minute upgrades to the team and then I was gonna go make a food run. Oh, I'm sorry. I've I've had that happen once or twice. It sucks. It's really bad. I actually had your stream pulled up on another tab here. Um, you and eggs and bacon. Then I got a little distracted because I was meaning to keep jumping back and forth to look at chats and whatnot, but. Yeah, what time is it there? It's got to be late. I bet I'm I'm feeling sleepy right now, and I'm not even. It's 6 p.m. here. But you know, as they say, uh, yeet. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's definitely getting late. Cause you worked today too, didn't you? I thought in your stream I heard you say that. <laughs>
add a player to the team. Yeah, it's really quiet. Usually it's supposed to have music playing, but I actually got flagged for it last time because some of the songs, um, they had to mute some of the video and whatnot, and so I just figured, eh, might as well do this. Oh, that'd be good, though. Getting Monday off, that's good. I don't know if you watch American football or not, but that's what we're playing. Here's a little bit of Madden. I used to play college football back uh, when I was in college. Used to be very good at it. So it's something I still like to play every once in a while. I do disappoint, have to disappoint you with no Snooky appearance at the moment. She's currently in the other room asleep. I'm definitely going to be back on here streaming here in probably about an hour or so. Everybody have a great evening or day wherever you're at. I know it's 1 a.m. for you, so it's pretty early. But just everybody have a great day, and if, I hope to see you all again here soon. If I don't, well, I hope to see you when I see you.